Hi guys, welcome to Learn Easy. In the previous video, we have seen the water content concept explained in detail. So if you didn't see it, just click on the I at the top at the end of this video or I'll put a link in the description box below. Now moving on to today's video, we have two types of relationships here other than volumetric relationships which we have seen in our previous videos. So they are volume mass relationships, volume weight relationships. As you can see in the names itself, both are almost equal except in this region that is mass or weight region. Let's just see one by one. First, volume mass relationships. In that, bulk mass density. It is total mass of soil per unit volume. I have clearly integrated everything here. So this is total mass, mass of voids. This white rectangle you can see here indicates the void region. And this is the void spilled by air region. And this is the void spilled by water region. This is mass of air, mass of water. This is the solids region, mass of solids. In the previous videos, we have represented this in terms of weights because there, in the volumetric relationships, only weights are mostly used. But here, since we have to discuss volume mass relationships, I have represented everything in the mass format. So, bulk mass density is total mass of soil per unit volume. And when I say total mass, I meant mass of solids, mass of water, and mass of air. That means bulk mass density is for the soil that's taken just from the field. And it is represented with rho. So rho equals mass by total mass by total volume. It is expressed in kg per meter cube or gram per ml generally. Also bulk mass density is also called bulk density or wet mass density or density. As the condition here represents total mass, which includes all the three parts in the three phase diagram, it may be taken as generally the soil which are available for us in the field are partially saturated soils. So this mostly represents the partially saturated soils. Now moving on to the next topic dry mass density. It is mass of solids per unit total volume. That is here. Mass of solids. Only the solids region is considered. So it is represented with rho d. That is d indicates dryness. So rho d equals mass of solids by total volume. And remember we find dry mass density only after when drying of a soil or any other method of drying. Obviously mass of solids is mass of what is left of the soil after drying but volume is volume taken initially before drying that's why I indicated it particularly here initially before drying and but it is basically mass density of the soil in dry state and also it expresses the denseness of the soil. That means the more the value of dry mass density, the more the dryness of the soil. So that explains this sentence. A high value of dry mass density indicates that soil is in, sorry about the extra L, soil is in compact condition. So basically this soil after, I mean drying, this particular soil is called dry soil. Now moving on to the next topic, saturated mass density. It is the bulk density of soil when the soil is fully saturated. That is when the voids of the soil are completely filled with water. That is the air is not present in the voids and only water and solids are present in the three phase diagram. So that means basically it becomes a two phase diagram which we have discussed in the previous videos. It is represented with Rho saturated, um, as it represents saturated and its rho. 
rho saturated equals mass of saturated soil by total volume that is the mass of the complete soil when assume it becomes a two phase diagram uh, the part completely filled with water the whole soil mass is taken as mass of saturated soil here that's pretty much about it um, next one is submerged mass density this is also called buoyant mass density this is for a soil that exists underwater for example soil underground water table for that type of soil the water level is above the soil level so then the soil becomes completely filled with water it is represented with rho submerged or rho dash so rho dash equals mass of submerged soil by volume here also here also every single time every time the volume is volume taken initially before drying so also there is a condition here rho submerged can also be written as that is mass of submerged soil by total volume this can also be written as rho submerged equals rho saturated minus rho w let's let's say you have an object in your hand you put your hand in a bucket full of water you definitely feel the weight of the object is less compared to when it is in air and it's when a soil of volume v is submerged in water it displaces an equal amount of water as we have learned long long ago it kind of creates an upthrust which is equal to mass of water displaced by the particular soils so net mass of the soil is reduced as i said earlier this is obvious for us in our daily lives so i'm not going deep into this this equation comes in handy uh, afterwards now moving on to the next one mass density of solids it is similar to dry mass density that is the first one we have explained in this video except it is compared to volume of solids there from the beginning i've been saying volume taken initially before drying every time except here the last one mass density of solids only here the mass is compared to volume of solids instead of volume it is represented with rho s rho s equals mass of solids by volume of solids that completes mass density of solids so with this we have completed volume mass relationships now we move on to volume weight relationships it is pretty much same when compared to volume mass relationships but i will show the difference okay let's talk about volume weight relationships and before going further i'm assuming you know that weight equals mass into g so first one bulk unit weight bulk unit weight is basically defined as total weight per unit volume so the total weight here i've shown here uh, i've written everything in the weight format here as it is in the mass format now for volume weight relationships I've turned it into weight format it is represented with gamma gamma equals total weight by total volume and here also almost all the cases volume is taken initially before drying it is expressed in newton per meter cube or kilonewton per meter cube in a and bulk unit weight is also called total unit weight or wet unit weight moving on to the next term dry unit weight everything here is same as above except we have weights in place of mass here so gamma it is represented with gamma d and gamma d equals weight of solids by total volume next one saturated unit weight this is also the same represented with gamma saturated it equals weight of saturated soil by total volume every case all the three cases volume is taken initially only before drying next submerged unit weight gamma submerged equals weight of submerged soil by total volume and in, as in the same case as the above here it is rho dash equals rho saturated minus rho w gamma submerged or gamma dash also called gamma dash equals gamma saturated minus gamma w next 
even the last part in it went to solid solids it is represented with gamma s which is e which equals weight of solids by volume of solids here as in the previous case volume is volume of solids that is after joining it so that's pretty much about the volume mass relationships and volume weight relationships we'll discuss other topics in our next videos also remember about the i i told for the previous video it's around here so make sure you click that to watch the previous video thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe Thank mm -hmm. you.